Hi everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be going over how I've been feeling into my second trimester. I am 19 weeks pregnant now, so I left off at the end of my first trimester and I will kind of fill you in on what has been going on up until now. Um, I'll also show you the new Amazon registry like freebie bag that I got so you guys will see that as well but let's get right into it. I just want to say right off the bat, thank you guys so much for commenting, subscribing, liking my videos. And if you are brand new around here, just make sure to subscribe. I'm going to have lots of new videos coming out. We'll do a nursery tour. We'll do baby clothing hauls, um, all sorts of fun stuff. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Okay, so now let's get into how my second trimester has been going. I have been feeling really good during my second trimester, to be honest. There have been like a few symptoms that have really not been fun, but for the most part, I do feel like I have more energy and I'm... I'm loving my bump, like I really, really love it. So I've just been really happy and really enjoying my second trimester. So first I will touch on the symptoms that I've had that are not so fun. So as I got into my second trimester, I started to get really bad headaches and I spoke to my doctor about my headaches and she said that she thought it was, you know, mostly hormonal. I've got a lot of hormones going on and she thought that, you know, that's probably it. She says a lot of women complain of headaches. So she gave me some supplements to try to help with that. And to be honest, it kind of has helped. I also started going back and seeing my chiropractor as well. Um, I had had some, you know, neck issues and um, just seeing that chiropractor on a regular basis, I think has helped as well. So I can't really say what did it, chiropractor or supplements, but I have been having less headaches and feeling better um, more recently. So that's good. Another thing that... I have been dealing with is having a really hard time falling asleep at night and I of course I wake up a few times during the night to go pee and I have a hard time settling back down and falling back asleep and I have a hard time falling asleep initially so I'm not feeling as rested and because of that I am pretty cranky in the mornings <laughs> and you know that's to be expected but I just try to, you know, go to bed as early as I can, listen to my cues if my body feels tired, and, um, you know, just try to relax and do what I can to just fall asleep. So it hasn't been too horrible, but just something that has changed from the first trimester, definitely. As far as my weight gain goes, I have started to gain a little bit of weight in my second trimester. I would say like three to five pounds. Now that is from my lowest point. And I would say in my first trimester, I lost about seven to 10 pounds. So um, I'm starting to gain a little bit. And of course, with the diabetes and everything, um, they want to monitor and make sure that I don't gain too much. Obviously, I'm having to tailor my diet um, because of the diabetes. So I feel like I've been able to maintain and that I shouldn't gain too much. But I just wanted to let you guys know on that front. So getting into the diabetes now of course you guys know that i was diagnosed with gestational diabetes early on in pregnancy and i have since transitioned over to the high-risk doctors at the hospital they have been wonderful in monitoring me and i've been going and seeing them every two weeks i have my um my big ultrasound coming up in two weeks when i'm 22 weeks pregnant i'll have my big like anatomy scan and so I'm really excited for that. But yeah, they have increased my insulin and are just monitoring my levels and just making sure that baby's doing good and everything has been going great so far. So I'm pretty happy there. I'll be really excited to see what comes with that anatomy scan and just make sure that everything, you know, is looking good with him and he's healthy and happy in there. 
Other than that, I would say that the cravings have kind of amped up in this second trimester. My first trimester, I was really like not interested in anything. This trimester, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm ready to eat. Like I'm hungry, I want all the things. So, you know, maybe that's been the reason for a little bit of weight gain, but the biggest change from my first trimester to this trimester is feeling baby move. This is seriously the most exciting thing and I have been waiting for it since the beginning. Like, when am I gonna feel him? When am I gonna know that he's in there? Like, this has been so exciting. So it was about 18 weeks pregnant when I first started feeling like I guess what they call quickening or flutters um it did kind of feel like like fluttery it kind of felt like like tapping like this and um sometimes it would feel like a little like maybe like a little betta fish tail or something like that I guess they say butterfly wings or whatever but um, when it first started happening, like, like the end of 17 weeks, early 18 weeks, I wasn't sure if it was really him or not. I'd feel something and I would be like, was that him or was that me? Like, I didn't know. I wasn't like a hundred percent like, oh yeah, that was him. Like, so I just kept kind of monitoring it as I got like farther along in 18 weeks and even now into 19 weeks, I have been feeling way more things. Like I've been feeling things that feel more like a muscle twitch. Like what? Yeah, you guys know what it feels like when your muscle twitches. It's like really sudden and it's like, you know, more intense. Um, so I've been feeling that and then even more recently, I've been feeling like big like movements, like really big ones. And I know 100% that it's him now because when it first would happen, it would happen, but then it wouldn't happen again for a long time. And it'd be like, okay, well, was that you? Cause like, I only felt one little thing, but now I will feel a movement and then like a few seconds later, like another little one in the same spot. And then sometimes there'll be like a big one on top of that. So that's been really, really exciting. And when I feel that big one, I get like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like I literally, I get emotional because it's just really cool to be able to like feel him. And I just can't wait to continue to get bigger, him to continue to grow and just to bond with this baby more. Like it's been the most exciting thing so far, I think. I know you guys are probably anxious to see a bump date, so I will go ahead and show you the bump at 19 weeks. Like I said, I've really enjoyed this pregnancy and I'm really loving my body right now. I am so happy to see him getting bigger and start to feel him. It's really just been so wonderful. So I wanted to show you one more thing. Recently, I had uploaded a video. I will link it here. It was me opening up like free baby registry boxes. I had gotten some from Babylist and a newbie box. And I also did the Amazon baby registry free baby gift. And at that time, it was a box. Now, I had actually like registered for all those registry items like a long time ago, like before I was even pregnant. And I had those boxes sitting in this back room in my nursery now for like months. I mean, maybe even a year, like it was a long time. And then I had also filmed that video a while ago as well. So since then, I know that Amazon has changed. They're no longer doing the box and they're doing like a bag. So I wanted to just update it, get a new freebie registry box, which I had to go through all the things again. I had to sign up for a registry, sign up for a prime, um, fill out the whole like registry checklist and make a purchase of $10 from the registry, wait until the item ships and then add the bag to my car and then check out and then I would get the free bag. So here's the free bag. If you guys didn't see my other video where I opened the Amazon box, go ahead and check that out so you can compare like what I had gotten previously to what is in this bag. But I will go ahead and open this up and show you what all comes in this new updated Amazon freebie registry bag. Alrighty, so the first thing that you get is the Huggies diapers. 
So this is a three pack, I think it's a size one of diapers. Then you get like these types of things, you know, little coupons and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so those aren't very important, but you know, hey, maybe this coupon will be good. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> you get a sample here. Oh, wow, this is sticky on the back. Okay, you get a sample of the grape water. I think that comes with that coupon so you can get more grape water if you want it. You get a sample pack, one sample pack of the laundry detergent, baby laundry detergent, which I'm excited for. And I think if we like that brand, we might go with it. Um, you get a pack of the water wipes which is awesome. Let's see what else. You get a little sample of Aquaphor for diaperage. You get a big bottle, Let's like this, mom. And it says easy start and anti-colic plus a start pacifier. Oh, so it's a bottle and pacifier? hard to see inside the thing but it just it just feels like a bottle to me well anyways you get this it says it reduces air bubbles and colic so that's kind of nice I feel like I have so many um different brands of baby bottles just from getting all the freebie samples and then another bottle this is the Philips Avent uh, the most natural way to feed. This one I really like because it is kind of shaped more like breast-like, I think. So um, I'm excited to try this one. I think I had gotten one like this in the previous box too. And then finally, just a few little samples here. We've got the Baby Bum Coconut Balm. We got a Baby Dove Sensitive Body Lotion. This is really cute. I'm excited to try the lotion. And finally, we got a Baby Wash and Shampoo Sample from Cetaphil, I believe, Cetaphil. And that is it. That is everything that comes in this Amazon bag that you get when you sign up for their registry. So if you compare it to what I got in the box, I would say that it used to be a lot better when you got the boxes because Amazon had given a free onesie as well as a muslin swaddle in that original kit. And with everything you have to do to get this freebie box, all the steps you have to take, I do feel like it used to be a lot more worth it. But I am also very happy that I got all these little sample items. And I think they're going to be wonderful just to toss in the diaper bag, have and use up and be able to try some different brands and see basically what we like and what we want to continue to go with. So pretty happy with that. Other than that, not too much has been going on. We've just been getting a few items here and there for the nursery. Um, we are going to be ordering our crib soon. We of course did sign up for the Amazon baby registry. So I will have our registry linked below um, from Amazon and you can see what kind of items I had put on there and what things I think might be essential for, you know, baby. I'm still not 100% sure what I will need, but I have just been putting on what I think I need and trying not to go overboard because I know a lot of times you end up with so much baby stuff and they're only little for so long. So um, I do have a lot of clothes already. So I'm mostly just looking for those other items, play items and like bath items and whatever he will need to start out. Other than that, not too much has been going on. We've been getting a few items for the nursery here and there and trying to decorate and get that ready. We have been preparing and planning for our baby shower, which will be coming up in a few months. And we are just happy to be feeling this little boy. Of course, Vanessa can't feel him yet, but I can. And um, 
excited and looking forward to the big anatomy scan, which Vanessa will be able to go to. So that is very exciting. But that is all I have for this video today. I want to thank you guys again for subscribing and following along with me as well as following along on my Instagram, which I have been posting weekly bump date photos on. So guys, make sure to head over there and check those photos out. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.